welcome <laughs> to Doodles and, and Tea. There is tea, it's over Can there. Can you see the tea? No, we got the optometer bring it over. Yeah, you be careful. We've literally, oh my god. It's we've pipe and just <gasps> made this. Look, the bag's still in there. It's a peppermint Ooh. and strawberry one. It smells great. It smells really, really good. Huh? Very pepperminty. But today, what we're gonna do is, we were sent these recently. Oh, let me get my list up on my phone. I'll be able to tell you who it's from. Yeah. Amanda in Maine. Amanda did send a couple of other little bits and pieces as well. Which that they did. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. But what we're going to do is open these. Yes, and we're going to draw whoever our mystery villagers end up being. Please don't be ugly villagers. <laughs> don't say that to Amanda from Maine. <laughs> I'll open them upside down so we can look at them together. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let me process this at the same time as <laughs> you. Okay, see, if we do it like this, okay. we're, we're none the wiser. So, okay. card number one Yes. is... Who is it? Monkey! Nico, that's a cute one! Yeah, that's a great start, and he's a holographic one. one too. Yeah, he's like one of the NPC kind of ones, right? He is. Yeah. Card number two... Two, two, two. Oh, oh she, she knows. knows. She's like quite a. She's very soft after. One. She's a very, she's a new girl. Who else are we working and with? And the final one. Who is it? Oh, Azalea. She's the one with the cute little flower. Flower on. rhino. Yeah, hey, Amanda. You have gone far beyond my expectations. Oh my god. Oh, I want to try and draw that monkey. I like the look of Sheena. I might try drawing Sheena. I think Sheena would look cool in your art style. You're gonna try and draw oh, more. Oh, and okay. you're using your little purple cookie pencil. Again. Yeah, because I don't draw animals very often, so I'll use I'll probably use the ten B pencil, but not until I've sketched out with this first. So, are you, are you guys like into like the new Animal Crossing characters? Like she knows quite good. Who was the um, Sasha? Was a very po is a very popular one as well, right? You know, because um, I had my Japanese lessons with my teacher who was from Japan. Yeah. Uh, she taught me that Nico means like. Smile like Nico Nico. So, oh, so he's like a smiling yeah, monkey. He's smiling, he's happy. He might be making his limbs a bit too long. Oh, he's a monkey. He's cool. Mon monkeys tend to have quite long, stringy, like noodly limbs. I think that's okay, hun. Remember, it's your interpretation uh, yeah, of it as well. Yeah, because I do so. want to put it like into my own art style. Yeah. I love the size of the ears. This is like how I draw ears on characters anyway. Huge ears. It looks like a, a mug with two handles. Gosh, we have been well and truly spoiled when it comes to the... I was going to call it a P.O. box, but it's definitely not a P.O. box because we can't afford one of those. It's like an Amazon wish list, right? Yeah, and they handle like everything for you, so people have just been like sending things through that. Been feeling very loved thanks to you guys, I swear. <laughs> But we have more than enough like art supplies and stuff to make uh, videos with. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's great the amount of generosity. I mean, we we honestly can't thank you. I'm literally drawing with something that I got sent from my sister. We're drawing these, which have been sent by Amanda. We've, We've been so drinking got... tea that's been sent by um, Samaya. We've been sent these. <laughs> we don't know who it is who sent these, so if it's you, please comment down below. Yeah, any mystery also one. I've been fidgeting with this, Ooh. which is, it's got 12 sides. What's, what's the name of that shape when it's got 12? Isn't it a, is it a dodecahedron? Dodecahedron, this was from. Although it's a 3D shape, so it might be something different. It's from our friend uh, Peppermint Cutie. We've known her for a like, very the long colors. time. It's so people. colorful. And as you know, we've also got the octopus. If you haven't seen the video Still, about him. No one has come for, look at this face. <laughs> and after we did that video talking about the mystery of this octopus, look who then turned up at the house. He brought his friend. Yeah, I, he, I think he is a dog or a fox. A fox, I've, I believe it is. He can also be in a pleasant Oh, well, mood. we prefer happy. <laughs> That's cute. So it looks like he's bringing uh, reversible friends along with him. His friends, <laughs> that, his friends that you can turn inside out. I just need to take this uh, oh, yeah. bag out my tea before it gets too strong. She doesn't like her strong tease, this one. She likes it subtle. I hope I can do this justice, you know. I, I, I know, I always worry about that. Every you. time I draw, like, because we've done it a couple of times now, every time I draw, like, Animal Crossing characters, I always feel like I do a terrible job. Yeah, same. Let's try it, because they're wearing, I assume they're wearing a kimono, I think? done some other Animal Crossing art on the channel before. Yes. And yeah. when we uploaded them, they weren't very popular videos, but over time they've like accumulated views from somewhere or other. 
I'm definitely a pretty hardcore Animal Crossing fan, if you don't Oh, you are. Know. <laughs> no, Steph really is, yeah. I'm one of those people that has over a thousand hours on, uh... I'm way more casual than me. ...playtime. You say that, but you also has like 500 hours or something But it's it. it's not from, like, loving the... Well, that sounds really mean. <gasps> it's not from, like, loving the villagers. It's, um, from landscaping. That's where, like, all of my playthrough times came from. I've been really loving doing all the landscaping stuff. She's a deer, right? So does she have like little trotters? Is that what they are? Yeah, those look like sort of like little, I'd say horse hooves, but she's definitely not mm. a horse. Wanna... Will you stop moving my reference? <laughs> you keep putting it on top of the snacks. I want to try these delicious My snacks. reference is going up here and it's staying here. I don't want you moving it. I put these on the uh, wish list because uh, it was quite a few years ago now, but me and Adam, we bought some of these for my uncle and oh, my aunt. A, it was a good while ago now, For like yeah. some kind of like a holiday. And I was so jealous because it looked like so delicious. I mean, look at the side of this. Steph, thing. like, I think she subconsciously bought it for her, but then remembered that we had to give it away. And she was well, like, oh. My uncle then ate it on the phone and he was going into detail. And he was like, oh, it's got this aromatic taste and smell. Oh. And it's delicious. Oh, and this one has a crunch. And what wow. is this taste sensation? Oh. And even my auntie was giving it a really high review. And uh, she's from Italy and it's handcrafted in Italy. So... That's how you know it's the good stuff. Even my Italian aunt from Italy said it was good. <laughs> That's how you know oh, you're on She'll your... tell you if it's not a yes. authentic <laughs> Italian food. Yes, <laughs> yeah, she would. Oh, you're busting them open, yeah? Yeah. Yes, let me know what you think. Oh, look how pretty the tin is that they've come in. Yeah, it's like a, a proper metal one. And you open it from that side, it's on a hinge. Oh, it's got a hinge. Oh my gosh, we've got to keep this tin. <laughs> it's a hinge, it's staying. Oh my gosh, it smells. Oh, here we go. Oh. Arabian Nights, we have ginger pieces with dark chocolate, almond and violet white chocolate, rose jelly, which I'm guessing is like Turkish delight because there's violet jelly as well, and lemon zest. How pretty they look. Oh God, they look like stones. They do, they look like magic little stones. Do you want to put it in the middle here? I want to see the recipe card thing. There you go, sweetie. You have put it on top. Oh shit, you know, you're getting battered, girl. Like, <laughs> Apparently there's a pink one that tastes like roses. Yeah, there's a rose one and a violet one as well. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, I see why he was hyping them up on the phone though. It's like Turkish delight inside. Oh, well, I'm definitely not going to like those. And soft and like squashy. Okay. You might like the one with like uh, the ginger pieces or the almond if you want me to pick one out for you. No, I'm good. I'm good. You have those. I'm trying to, I feel bad for Shino. I'm trying to, I'm really trying, I'm really trying for her. I'm glad you like them though, and I'm sure the person mm. that sent them will be mm -hmm. very glad that you like them too. Oh, I hope so. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. <clears throat> Don't put them back, you're so bad for that. <laughs> if there's ever like, guys, what about, do you do this like honesty time, right? <laughs> Whenever there's like a platter or something of food, <laughs> Steph likes to pick up, inspect and put back and you should never put it back. Especially these days. You should never put it back. Mm, they're so perfumey. I can smell them. Do you think it smells like delicate ladies? I don't go, you know, this might come as a shock. I don't go around sniffing very many delicate ladies. Have a sniff of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you smell nice. I can smell them on your breath. And they do smell pretty good. If you good. want to kiss me. Not right now. What? <laughs> I don't want your weird jelly candy kisses. Oh my gosh, those are so nice. Thank you so much, whoever said Yeah, seriously. Those. Oh wow, you've already started the lime in yours. Of course, like, you have, oh, so far all you've done is drink tea and eat sweets. <laughs> I want to draw some of these like sweets. Oh yeah, you should, sweet. that's not a bad idea. But then again, would it be doodles and tea if you didn't drink tea and maybe have a little snack? Gosh, another thing that we have been sent recently from our friend Fedron. I hope I'm saying her username. I call, I call them Fendron, but, but they yeah. They sent something earlier on, and uh, they sent for me a, a whole swatch card of Daniel Smith like paints. You That's know those fancy. ones where you get to fancy paints. I was thinking for like oh a, my god, a fancy future paints. doodles and tea. Maybe the next one that we do, we'll just have like a big swatch of fun. I mean, you can have a big swatch of fun. I'll be there, but <laughs> you can, guys, comment down below. Do you want to see a big swatch of fun? Of course they do. The Don't answer for swatches. them. Hey, they might actually have an epiphany and agree with me for once and say no, but. <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know they'll never agree with you. Shino gives me like autumnal vibes. So like there's leaves blowing about and stuff. She gives me like a cherry blossom vibes. Oh, like spring? 
Is that what it's meant to be? I'm colorblind, so I'm not... <laughs> You're colorblind? Why did you never yeah. tell me? <laughs> oh my god. Does that affect does that affect the uh, the relationship? <gasps> you didn't tell me you were colorblind. You know, speaking about Adam being colorblind, because oh, no. we haven't mentioned this. For for two seconds. <laughs> what yeah, you've been colorblind. <laughs> yeah. it was a recent stream, wasn't it? I'll link it like above in our It was our, 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 our most recent stream on YouTube, yeah. And um, we had someone very kind called with more, I think that's with a more. With more. We'll, well put I'll put it. I'll put screen. it on screen for you guys. Yes. Yeah. Well, this sure very it, sweet person. And they've donated enough for Adam to order some of the indoor colorblind like glasses. Like the, the Enchroma ones. You remember when we went outside and I got to like rediscover Steph's eyes and stuff? Well, now we've got uh, the funds to actually get the indoor ones, so we'll be able to get those soon. And you can bet we'll do some videos of me using those in the house. And see, because oh, that's something I could use like every day. Yeah, I, I can imagine that you'll get like a lot of use out of those. Because at the moment, he only really sort of gets to put on like his outdoor ones. If we're going out somewhere or... He... And we haven't had a lot of opportunities with that recently. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not too much to see apart from, you know, like walking around the block. So he's not really seeing like new or different things. So I think it will be exciting for him to see something that he hasn't. Especially oh, like, especially about. like this. This well, something with like so many colors and things on. Uh, the guinea pigs as well, it'd be fun to- Oh yeah. It'd be fun to see if they look different. I think that'll be so romantic, you seeing the pigs. Because I see those, I see those guys like every single day. So if I do notice anything different about them, it'll be like instant, I think. I'm just gonna use my little eraser because I've made a bit of a mess. I'm using this today, isn't this cute? This is a sword fish a razor but it's also a sharpener as well in the top <laughs> it's like it's everything i love <laughs> i wish i knew whereabouts all your erasers are because i know we've got like a bunch of them hiding around the house somewhere yeah right they're now. in here i just have to follow the smell because it smells very rubbery some of them are really old too <laughs> yeah he's got mm. some vintage ones that smell like old rubber like the amount he oh. goes on about stinky erasers that i have what? but he's got the stinkiest erasers who's the stinkiest out of us two <laughs> Do you want to know a controversial opinion? Mm. When the Animal Crossing update came out and we watched the trailer together, I didn't like the monkey. <gasps> really? Yeah. Why? I feel like he's been like shoehorned in. He like he didn't need to. Like the job that he was doing. Like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to enrage people or if people will agree, but in New Horizons, Isab in my opinion, Isabel doesn't do anything. <laughs> so I think she should have been given the job of Nico, and like, um, Isabel could have been given like a cute outfit or something. They didn't need to make another character. Uh, I'm very sorry if all of you disagree with me, but <laughs> that's my opinion. I, she doesn't do anything. Adam with the, the hot ticks coming in strong over here. Someone has got to agree. If one person agrees with me, I'll feel validated. But what about um, oh, the manatee guy? Is he called Waddle? Like Wilbur or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> Wilbur's the bird. I feel like because I got distracted with a snack break, that thing's going to happen where you finish much sooner than I do. Well, I'm a very professional boy, honey. And snacks can wait when you're creating. Well, I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> when you, I was gonna say when you're creating fabulous artwork, but cannot relate. Oh no! Don't be silly. I love how you draw animals. This is like this is like, in my opinion, you're like comfort zone, like drawing animals because I think you're so good at them. Is it your first time drawing a monkey, or have you drawn like one before? No, I'm sure I've drawn like monkeys in the past before, but not very often. Now that I think about it. I don't know, yeah, monkeys are, they're interesting. I mean, uh, monk, poor monkeys, they've been given a bad rep, haven't they, recently with uh, NFTs recently. <laughs> Every time I think of those, I think of those oh monkeys. Oh my gosh, Nico's not allowed to. <laughs> Is Nico an NFT? Oh no! You just put like a little cigarette in his mouth. A cigarette? <laughs> they're always smoking, those <laughs> NFT monkeys. They're always smoking, I swear. Like, I know we don't really talk about like controversial uh, art topics and stuff, but those monkey things is just... <laughs> I, I seen on the internet NFT also stands for non-functioning testicle. So, so you can just like, if you don't like them, you can just poke fun at them and call them those. We're a bit more cramped today. It's a different setup, so you can try and see the artwork a bit closer because in the previous Doodles and Tea, you'll uh, see I, I uh, brought attention to Steph's little art corner because she just huddles away in the corner, whereas now... I'm trying to sort of like take up the space that I rightfully... You look gorgeous deserve, here. We can but... see your art, we can see you working. It's beautiful. I've here. always been the kind of person that when I draw, I tend to like hide away in a little corner. 
Yes. Oh my god, yes. So that is so true. Like you say, I'm, I'm a bit like a little mousy. Little mousy mama. But it might be because I've grown up a lot of my life around different rodents, like hamsters and guinea pigs. Have you inherited that rodent life? Yeah, I've got like that mousy. Uh, oh, I think we all live like rodents sometimes. Aesthetic. All right, she knows down here. <laughs> Push that tail. No, I, I'm telling you, you're the one that wanted to bring these over and have a snack. Trust me, it was worth it. They're delicious. Speaking of delicious, guys, why don't you click on this delicious video that's been handpicked just for you? And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date.